right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. We are live from the Fab Factory Studios, uh, of course. Shout out to Fab Factory. I got <laughs> something today that you're not going to rock with. Just off the off the rip? You're not going to rock with this. I mean, All after, right, so after look, the Yoni steam, I don't know. So I mean, look, I'm going to give you my phone, and I want you to read what this says. Is it? What are you giving me? Is it a text message? Just it's, read what it says at the top of the screen. I actually do know about this. Re- I was waiting for California to be the, the next one up. All right, so it says uh, California DMV wallet. It has, I can say your government name, right? Yeah. Aaron Drake mm-hmm. Jr. Uh, and you have it's the your driver's license on Correct. your phone. On the phone. So I remember seeing this. I've been I was, waiting for this. For three years. other states had it, right? Yeah, Georgia, Connecticut, and I think Maryland. Right. I actually been waiting for this. So, but that's what well, here's the thing though. That's not the Apple. This is a DMV app. You have oh, to yeah, download. You right. I I ain't, I ain't I, mess with that. I know. I know. Apple so, already got my information. I so, don't know if I want So, the you DMV. have to download the DMV app. Wait, so you can Okay, and so now but it said you see it says active in the in the corner, yeah. right? So, this they I can go through the airport with this. Really? Yes. I'm not a, I'm actually not mad at that. In a lot of cases I'd be like I don't know about that, but I think it was so funny. You told me this, I want to say, in 20... We chipped. 14. We've been chipped. Yo, it's already here. We've been chipped. We already here. I wish we could find that footage. I believe it was still on Market Street. No, and I was no, fighting. We would, no, we was uh, we was doing the remote. It was during COVID. We was doing... And you're right. We was on Zoom. You're right. Because we couldn't interact because y'all yeah. had the COVID in y'all house. Right. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> why why got to be our house? Everybody, I, I, COVID was going around. Okay, well, it was rampant over there in Carson. <laughs> <laughs> the, the COVID, the COVID was rampant over there in cars, and I well, was cool on it. I, you, you're right, because I remember I'm like, dude, I don't know about, you know, giving certain information, this, that, and the third. You was like, yo, look at your phone. You just, you just put up the phone. You was like, we've been chipped we've already. We've been chipped already. You've been chipped because we were talking about the end of times, how everything was kind of changing, and you know, you're like, yo, we, we already here. We've been chipped. I'm not mad at that. Um. <laughs> Mainly because it's like, if you really think about it, you go, just looking at different cards, you're not using physical cards like that. No. And, because I was, I remember like, because um, I be on my bike a lot, mm-hmm. and I don't like, I wear these little tiny da- hoochie daddy you like, shorts. You like, you wear b- biker shorts. Hoochie daddy shorts. You, okay, right? so DJ Head is wearing biker shorts. Um, sure. So I wear the little shorts, they little da da Okay. And... I don't have room to put my wallet and like all this stuff. So my watch, you yeah. put my cards on my watch and I could just go and I could buy a water bottle or something. Same like thing. But when I'm running, I don't like to have a lot of stuff in my pockets. Oh yeah. So you get like, back to buff Chuck. Hey man, you know, I'm just, I'm healthy Chuck. That's all. I'm trying nah, to get buff back to my Chuck health. is making an appearance. You finna peel out? Nah, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. We can do the live podcast at the L Ray or something. You, you going to peel out your shirt? Stupid. Nah, <laughs> I ain't doing that. Um, but I, oh, let me ask you a question. Because before we get into the other stuff, I have, I have a serious question. God. Do you have a plunger in your house? I do. Okay. Is it normal for people not to have plungers in their house? I wouldn't know because I I have we have two plungers in I just house. don't understand. Like, I've been seeing this trend of people with no plunger in their house. You know what's funny is that when I moved into my first apartment, shout out to the homie Aaron, I think that was one of the only things we had in the bathroom. A plunger. A plunger. But, but you grown ass men. Yeah, that's true. You, but women don't have plungers in their house. Are you serious? I've been to two people's house. My friends, I'm not going to say their name, put them on blast. Two women. Two women. And they both didn't have plungers? And they didn't have plungers. And I had to go get a plunger from somebody else that, you know, like a, either a roommate situation or down the down So or, they're not clogging up their toilets? neighbor. No, they take dainty. No, know. but I mean. So so here's the thing. The things they put down the toilet, right? Oh No, no. The, the women products? Maybe. I don't know. You don't flush those, fool. Oh, okay, I guess. What yes. the fuck? <laughs> Bro, this dude's... Re- you don't flush tampons or pads or none of that. How you don't know you live with a woman? You're right. You been living with a woman long... You been living with a woman longer right. than I had a girlfriend. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You don't know what she do? Well, you knocking her up, so you don't have... Yeah. She don't have periods like that. Yeah. So- <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> No, you no, you're right. You're right. That's that's a trash can situation. You have, you're right. But you I just yeah, I never. Yeah, you don't you don't flush those fool. Even when you go to restaurants, you don't know <laughs> that they say do not flush. <laughs> no time to be blowing up the bathroom though. So she, your your wife? We be, hey man, we be we be sometimes the competition. You know what I'm saying? Do your do your do you do yours float? Yeah, it's floating. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, you doing your actually thing. last couple of weeks been in eating kind of wrong so. Do you was eating with that dude ate on that airplane? 
Oh, you, I was saw, in, you saw that? <laughs> so look, no, look, I can relate. Okay, so people that don't know, there, there was uh, this flight that was going to Atlanta, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. A Delta flight going to Atlanta. I don't even know if they made it to their destination. They had to turn back around and go back wherever they were going. Or when you they... turn around? <laughs> well, no. But listen, so somebody had diarrhea on the flight, mm-hmm. and they had to, is it deplane? It was in that White Castle. I need to know the details. I need to know <laughs> how long was the flight, and how long was the diarrhea going? It was, it was going, going to Barcelona. To... Oh, Barcelona? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot's like, nah, nah, we ain't doing that. We're going back to the A. We Go finish the it. <laughs> I wonder how long were they on the flight? Do you know? Because okay. you know the problem is <laughs> if you're on the flight. not going overseas at all. It's not like you could just crack a window. You know <laughs> I mean, you can. You're gonna... But I'm just saying that it ain't like you could just crack the window nah, and let that thing it, air out. It won't be safe. You do so that. I think, but here's the thing, right? I could relate. And not having control of your of your functions, because I got food poisoning one time in Big Bear. I remember that. And it was that was it yeah. was terrible. You had to get a whole another cabin. They had to. I, they had. <laughs> we had to get a whole another cabin. I remember that. We had to get a whole. I remember that. Throw the whole cabin away. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All the sheets that they it just bro, yeah, it was, leave that. Car, pull the carpet up. <laughs> Replace the walls, the <laughs> paint. Wait, you didn't even make the event. We drove two hours to Big Bear. Yeah. And we D- had to remember do a DZ remote. had to DJ the yeah. event. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Because I couldn't do it. You was gone. So I ate that salmon. You're right. I ate that salmon in Big Bear. We had to get a whole new cabin. And the thing is, you know what's crazy about that? We never even told them. Like What happened? We just left. <laughs> we just left. <laughs> Can you, you left. With the, the housekeeper came in there and figured it out. Oh, you know so you didn't give him a heads up? No, I don't know. <laughs> Not for the pay for that. That room was done. You hear me? Like, <laughs> listen, let me tell you something about what when 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 stuff hit when stuff hit. When you me gotta like go, that, you gotta go. No, this is have you ever had food poisoning? Yeah. To where the, not, the, not to that extent. No. Okay. So that's how I know that dude on that plane had, had food, food poisoning. poisoning. Right. That I know what that is. <laughs> Cause you don't have no control over it. Hey, <laughs> it was all up the aisle, down the aisle. So I mean, okay, my thought process is if if you know you had a bubble guts and you feel like something's going that on. It ain't bubble guts. I know, that, but if you feel demonic, like something's happening. That's demonic inception. That's what that, <laughs> that's Why not go to the bathroom and just let it all, you know what I'm saying? Let bro, it all it go. It ain't no, you don't have control. That's what I'm trying to explain to okay, you. Let me okay. look at the footage. Cause. So it's like it's like when Tyrese was explaining his stuff on Breakfast Club, right? About him losing his mind. When you when you when it go there, you don't have no control over the butt muscles. You everything relaxes. Mm. And it's literally just fluids. Just, just pew, pew, pew. it's just flowing out of you. Uh. And you can't control it. Now, what nobody's talking about is how dehydrated he must have been. That dude. See, this this that this that uh Dr. Sebi. I'm taking my herbs right yeah, now. Yeah, head coming back. Okay, so how mm. how do you know he was dehydrated? You can't lose that much fluid and not be de- dehydrated. I don't care where it's coming from. You can't. You be... can't sweat, cry. Oh, so you say if you're dehydrated, you can't. None of the fluids can come out. Oh, because no, you don't have any, any. No, what I'm saying is if you can't lose that much that you can't oh, and lose not that be dehydrated and not be dehydrated oh, yeah, for sure for sure. So um you know, but I think that. When when you for people that's never had food poisoning, mm. it's not pretty because it's cause it, it depends on how bad it is. Yeah. That his was like mine because that's how it was. I ran. I had to get new sheets. I had to get a new mattress because it was Damn. still when I got home. Yeah. Oh, so the next when you, after you got back to two the days, crib. two three days, you still don't have no control. That is why. So you leaking everywhere. It's just leakage. Damn. It, leakage. So just put yourself. That's okay, it. put yourself in the situation of this guy that's on the plane, right? And since you've been through this. And you kind of know how you fit. What do you do? Do you just can't do nothing? Do you just so? What, I'm asking you. Do you sit there and simmer, or do you try to go to the bathroom? No, you try to make it. But the, the, the problem is, what well, depends? If it, is it a full flight? It's a full flight. It's everybody in the row. Everybody do I looking. Got a window or aisle seat? Man. <laughs> okay. Let's let you got a you got a middle seat. I got a middle seat. You got a middle seat. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get to the bathroom. Okay. So if you got an aisle seat. Is it the same situation? If I got an oh, what's the difference? Like, so well, if, you, if I got a window seat, you might be able to what tuck and roll. Tuck and roll what? <laughs> where are you tucking and where are you rolling? You might be able to like because people still seeing you. You might be able to bag it up. Nah. So you would sit there and try to sh- you you would try to release on the plane with somebody okay, sitting next. Okay. The thing to you. is, the thing is, you can't really do anything in that situation, but try to make it to the bathroom. So 
you know, that's what I would try to do, and that's what I try to do in that cabin. But as you, well, you probably didn't. Did you really see the cabin? No, I didn't see the cabin. Oh, we yeah. had different no. rooms. Oh, yeah, DZ, had, DZ came and saw it. Yeah, so it was me and Salas in one, one, one spot, and you and DZ in another room. Yeah, DZ saw what went down. Oh. DZ ain't never seen no <laughs> shit like that in his life. <laughs> hey, Wait. hey, hey. So, so what I'm saying is, well, have you ever had to go on a plane? Nah, not on a plane. You ain't never took a nah, demo plane? Nah. It's not very more, not very comfortable. Yeah, I try. And I, not very inviting. I try and do all that before. Yeah, because I don't I don't want to be in that situation. Well, I've been on a plane and I'm doing number two. Uh-huh. And we caught some turbulence, right? <laughs> in real life, listen, I'm not even making this up. That's some of the that's not how you want to figure <laughs> out that that's that's not how you want to imagine yourself going out. Oh, so it's like it was that that bad. Yeah, it was rocking. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It was like, God. bro, this this is not cool. On the toilet. Yeah. And and like, no disrespect, but I wasn't even on a premier airline. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna say where, but at least let me be on Delta. We you on Spirit? I don't know. <laughs> but I was <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It's I was like, on a different. I was on. I wasn't on a premier. It, it would. <sighs> but I think that um, would it matter? It wouldn't even matter for the most part. Um, make sure you go before you get on the plane. Don't get food poisoning and keep plungers in your house because that's the real thing. I don't understand. PB, you got a plunger in your house? You have a plunger? Okay. So you, when. You and your lady moved in to the same spot, or did you move in with her, or did she move in with you? Moved they in moved together. in okay. together. I'm, ch- I'm really trying. Bro, it's a thing. I'm t- let's throw a poll up. I'm telling you, people don't got plungers. Ladies, do you have plungers in your house? They don't have and plungers. So is this a single single? So let me thing? tell you what happened. Okay. I'm, I got my bike in my car. I'm finna go for a bike ride. So I didn't, you know I do that. Mm. So I'm at somebody's house. I'm at a friend of mine's house. Mm. I'm about to go do my thing. I'm like, let me go here and do my thing because I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this off before I get on this bike. I get, I get my, I get my thing off, and, and I sit on the throne. I do my thing, right? They gracious enough to let me use their place, right, to stay there and whatnot. Okay. So I do it. Shit, took, shit, shit got weird. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Things went left. Things went left, and because it was like, it was okay. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Your, the truth. yours wasn't floating. I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is the truth, right? Because I ain't explained all this in, in things that I posted on Instagram. <laughs> the truth was I weighed myself the day before because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm taking my herbs. I got the fat burner. Mm-hmm. I read up. So I'm taking my herbs. Let me see where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I'm 220, right, the night before. After I got off the toilet, I weighed myself. I'm 214 <laughs> in real life, in real life. Get out of here. In so it, it was six pounds. It was serious, serious. <laughs> six pounds of okay. Six pounds of okay? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that ain't going down in one flush. I tried to do it. I tried yeah. to flush three times. Oh, no. Nah. So as, as as I'm seeing what's taking place, I'm texting her like, hey, yo, <laughs> you got a, we, hey, where your plunger? You don't got a plunger in your house? Like, what's up? You ain't got a plunger. You got. You ain't got a plunger. You got a problem right now. Just let she's you know. like, go get a plunger from from because she had her friend, mm. um, her roommate. So she's like, go get a plunger. I'm like, she got the plunger. I'm like, bro, I need the plunger. Stat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you have to. You have to look for another apartment. Wait. So they. You said the the roommate had one. Yeah. So there was one in there. I didn't know because I don't be over there. Got you. Got you. So anyway, long story short, I, she saved the day, brought me the plunger, but. We was three minutes away from them having to get get a new apartment. Ladies, but, do you have plungers? I, we just need to know. I, that, that's a I'm really talking about good... not even three minutes away. We was minutes away from DEFCON 1. Because uh, it was like rising, rising. And, and, and the thing uh, is, because it wasn't solid. All right. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I mean, I get it, but damn. It was, it was like paste. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just it. telling you the truth. We get it. We get the six pounds of that. Okay. Of okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know if this is a too little, too late situation. You let me know. I saw the, he- the headlines the other day. It says Diddy just gave multiple artists on Bad Boy mm-hmm. uh, uh, their publishing rights. All right? And these artists include Mace. We've heard, I think we heard that, them go back and forth. Mace, Faith Evans, The Locks, 112, and uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s Estate, uh, mm-hmm. and plus others. I was tripping about how much this is all worth. Well, the thing is, it don't matter how much it's worth. It does matter how much it's it worth. It does. It's yours. No, no. It. Ma- I'm, I'm saying I'm shocked at how much the amount was. Oh, wow. The amount was, is literally hundreds 
of millions of dollars. I'm not shocked. I'm shocked. Why? I guess I'm not, but it's like, how? After all this time, after all this time, hundred like hundreds of millions of dollars, bro. Well, I think that, I mean, here's the important thing. They got it back, and they should be grateful and satisfied because that man don't owe them nothing. I stand on that. Now, I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't. All I know is what played out in the public like everybody else. Mm-hmm. My opinion, based on the information that we have, is once you sign a record, and we talk about this yeah, all yeah, the time, yeah. you sign a deal. Mm-hmm. You can't be mad later that you sign a deal. Yeah. You just ride your, you, you fulfill your, your obligation and move on. You know what I'm saying? Like Kendrick did, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's not about what this person owes you. Now, if somebody owe you some money, like they like this, the agreement was, this is how much money you owe me, mm-hmm. or pub or whatever, then cool. But if if I own the publishing outright, I don't owe you anything. Anything, right, right. So so if somebody owes you money. Somebody do owe me money listen, right now. That person that owes you money. Right. You want to say how much it is? $1,700. $1,700. Well, what that's if, just one. That's a rapper. That's an OG rapper who owed me $1,700. Okay, so that OG rapper that owes you $1,700, let's say in 30 years, he says, all right, here you go. You can have that. Mm-hmm. Would you be okay with it? I want my money. But what, what if it's like, here, here you go. I mean, I'm. I, it's are, mine. You, you're, you're at the point now, you're past just asking for it. No, I'm not looking for it at all. Okay. I see him in everything. Got you. But so in 30 years, do you, are you are you It's like, a DJ who beat me out of seven hundred dollars for a for a DJ controller that I never got too. What you mean he beat you out of it? He told me he can give me the DJ controller and this before I had a job and everything. I had didn't have no money and I was trusted him, gave him the money, and he never gave me the controller. So changed his number. So what if he gives you the DJ controller now? I mean, that's fine. I'll just get it and give it to somebody else. God right here. I think I'm on the same same tip in terms of I want what's mine. I I want what's mine. I don't care when you give it to me. I, I just want what's mine. So so yes. your cousin yes. that yes. owe you money. How yes. much money your cousin your cousin owe you? Thousand. One thousand dollars? Yep. <laughs> Are you serious about that thousand? I, but I, I you know what I, and I went through stages. Cause there was a stage where I'm like, let me just shoot you a reminder. I I know you you remember, right? Okay. No, I know life happens. All right, cool. We good. But just <laughs> you want your thousand. I got to the point I stopped asking, but I definitely won't be mad if I get that that thousand. No, I'm not mad. Plus, that's no OT. because because some people. Yeah, you're right. That's OT. But some people would feel like, oh no, I want interest now that you know time has went by, or I don't need that thousand now. I mean, I you know they they the, the, after time goes by, the the value goes up, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just kind of wanted to know your 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 opinion of it in terms of like the time frame, like. It's just to me. It's it's just interesting that you're right. He doesn't owe anybody anything, but I wonder what was that thing that made him say, "Okay, right now is that moment." Is it, you know, life circumstances? You know, being in a better situation, or is it really rooted in wanting to do right by people? Hmm. I think it's just principle. A lot of it is principle because, um, like for Puff. Like, for Diddy in, his, in this situation, I don't think it's about none of that. I think it's just him wanting to clear the air. Like, all right, like, I don't, like this is y'all's shit. Like, here, boom. But I'm saying it's, it's, it's a question that has been asked multiple times. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, after, if it's about principle, why not do it on the first time? Like, all right, you know what? Yeah, because, I don't owe it to you. Boom, here. Because that's the deal. If I, if we, and the, deal, the deal is still the deal. I understand years later. that, but now it's probably like it's not about the business at this point. Before so it's it? about business. Uh, I just respect business. I don't care about how people feel or what's going on. I just respect the business. If this is the business, then that's the business. Mm. Um, also, we was talking about this um, in one of my groups about the dude. I forgot. Uh, uh, I forgot his name. He was on the internet talking about he. he it, it, it ain't worth nothing. Um, Sorry. Yeah, so that's some, some of the comments are saying too. Yeah, one of the OGs talking about it ain't worth it. It ain't worth nothing or whatever. Here's a here's the reality of the situation. I'm not saying that person specifically, but a lot of times people want their publishing and all that and don't know, don't what, know to what to do. do. <laughs> right. So let's say I'm Diddy mm-hmm. and you are Mace, mm-hmm. right? Let's say you're Mace and I'm Diddy. You probably don't let's say you don't know what to right. do with your publishing. All I'm gonna do is give you your publishing and you're gonna go sell it to somebody else because you don't know what to do with it. Right. So what's the difference? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
more than more 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 so than often people have stuff and they don't know what to do with it or how to sell it or how to get it off so and instead of like me personally i would make if i didn't know what to do with the work i have i would consult with person who does know mm -hmm. so if, if you if if diddy knows what to do with my publishing hey let's work out a deal instead of you giving it back to me let's work mm -hmm. out an admin deal where you administrate my publishing and, we, and you just cut me in on the royalties so what if you're not getting anything on it right mm -hmm. you're not really receiving any ends and it actually is worth more with you trying to figure it out mm. i think i mean the, I, the reality is nobody. Here's the thing. I would, if that's the case, let's just say I'm, I'm I don't want to use the word disgruntled, but what if I'm a concerned artist and I'm like, look, I want to, I want to know. I would rather me get it and be like, damn, I don't know what to do with it, and be like, okay, it was in better hands with you, because I don't know what what's a what's a better situation to be in, <clears throat> to have it, not know what to do with it, and that's never a good situation to be in. But what if what if there what if in the somebody else's hands. At least I have control of it. Like I can, I can learn at that point what to do with it, right? I can figure it out. You can if learn what to do with it while it's in somebody else's hand. Not necessarily. And I still have to. They have to sign off on it. No, I'm saying you can learn. You can educate <gasps> yourself. You're right, but I'm saying educate with the intent to actually get something out. Correct. Of it, right. So if I learn what to do with it and actually, oh man, I can actually make a little more change than what I have been getting with with so and so or with it in, in their hands or trying to have it signed off by that person or not necessarily receiving anything because a lot of people are saying that they're not. They're not getting anything. That's the problem. It's like, yeah, he owns my masters. He owns my rights. And I'm not receiving anything. I'm not getting anything from it. I'm not getting anything from it. That was, and if I have the story wrong, but I think that was one of Craig Mack's situation. He was like, yeah. I'm not getting anything. I understand that. But let's say that's the deal. Mm -hmm. If that's the deal, that's the deal. True. You know, what do you mean? I, more, most of the time when it comes to publishing and stuff like that, you get paid up front. Mm -hmm. So they give you an advance on your money. Mm -hmm. It's like all, all these people selling their catalog. It's the same game. Like, if you have your catalog and your catalog is worth a million dollars and I give you 10 for it, mm -hmm. you're not going to get anything from it while, until I get my money, whatever, plus whatever the deal is. Gotcha. That's just the way business works. Gotcha. Nobody can. And I remember I forgot who was, we was talking about this, but I was talking about this with Charlemagne. Nobody can pay you what you're actually worth mm -hmm. because that's not business. So in order for somebody to do business with you, they can't actually pay you what you worth. Mm -hmm. For instance, if LeBron James really got paid what he was mm -hmm. worth, mm -hmm. There, there were, they could nobody could pay him what he's worth because there's no business there. Mm -hmm. I have to be able to make money with you or off of you in order for business to be conducted. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, I get it. I just think that when you when you're vocal about it, and if you're standing on, especially in the public eye, if you're somebody like I get it, I get his business. But if you're somebody that, in this case, we're gonna specifically talk about Puff, right? If he's somebody that wants to, you know, generational wealth and uplifting the, the black community and just doing right by said people here and there, it's like, okay, we'll do right by him. Why, why is it taking so long? But now what you're saying, it kind of makes sense. The money's already been made off of that. So here, here you go. You can have it. Yeah. I, I, don't, I mean, that, at the end of the day, that's business. I just, I can see how it's kind of looked down upon from certain people. Yeah, I think so too. But that that's goes to show like, yo, you got to read up. Read, read that paperwork. I see so many people talking about they didn't read their contract. Mm -hmm. and, it's like, and people still do it, too. So at this point, but it's too much information out yeah. here. You can't be upset about it at this point. Ex exactly. Uh, what? <sighs> okay. Beyonce, <laughs> so I'm you, so glad that this concert is over. It was a, it, well, it was, only, just, it was a All concert. these women walking around dressed like aluminum. A what? Aluminum. A what? Aluminium. <laughs> hey. hey. Aluminium. You know what the fuck they was dressed in? <laughs> Aluminium. Let me tell you this, bro. So my uh my wife went <laughs> with her sister. To Beyonce. To Beyonce. Dressed like foil. Man, she didn't know nah, nah, my you know, come on, you know Tosh. She not with none of that. She like, look, I'm, I'm rocking, Beyonce said I'm rocking dress black. like nickels. No, she not. Tosh didn't do that for sure. Okay, but when I'm we driving there, everybody literally looking like a disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody looking like apple silicon. Just, <laughs> <laughs> bro, everybody, everybody walking around looking like MacBook. <laughs> 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 It, 
was like, I was like, bro, who said that? But somebody told me like Beyonce said for her birthday she wanted everybody to dress exactly. up in, in silver or whatever it was. But especially this go around, I, I think for the tour she wanted people to do it, but for, specifically for her birthday in L.A., yo, people. I mean, people came out and, and showed up, showed out. Um, but the homie Kendrick came out too, man. Yes, and he didn't have silver. He didn't have on silver. He was not dressed like a nigga, but they had the same sound person for 50 Cent's concert running his mic. And it was just like, bro, like, you know, what's going on with the microphones? It was an issue? Yeah, his mic wasn't working. Oh, I didn't know that part. Yeah, he came out rapping. He was rapping. It was him and Beyonce that could hear him. <laughs> it's like it's like Kendrick got the no view seats when he's on this microphone, and Kendrick got the eighty dollar mic. Oh. Which is really in the, that, if that person still has a job, well, Fifty said he fired his whole audio team. He said fire everybody. He said he fired everybody had anything to do with audio. So, do you, do you, well, you don't know. I was gonna say is, is it the same team that works. Oh no, nah, I'm sure it's not the same team. <sighs> but yeah, Kendrick came out the ground with no sound. You the sound man, right? And you see the you on see, Beyonce's birthday. Listen, listen, not only on Beyonce's birthday, but you see the you see the action that happens with Fifty, all right. You see weeks before the 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 you know sound issues, Cardi B. You're like, oh, you see all these things happening. The night of Beyonce's birthday, this is the night you don't fuck up, and you see Kendrick ride as a surprise guest, rising to the top. As the sound man, what are you doing in that moment? Me? Yep. I'm ducking. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Beyonce <laughs> throwing a <the> mic though? <laughs> I'm not worried about Beyonce throwing a mic. Beyonce ain't gonna throw no mic. You, you worried about Kendrick throwing a mic? Nigga from Compton. <laughs> Y'all see, a lot of people ain't seen Dot Mad before. I've hey, seen Dot Mad before. Dot been working out too. Dot been working. He doing Dot thousand doing burpees the in the park <laughs> Dot by Dot himself, gym, working out uh, workouts. No, thank you. Dot got aim. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. Fifth about forty something. Dot still thirty something. He might got aim. So, um, in my opinion, if I'm the sound man, I just feel like I would. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, you you know your job. It's a wrap. Have you ever have you ever <clears throat> have you ever messed up on a job and just knew like, okay, this this could be my last day. All the time. When's the last time you messed up on a job and just knew like it was it was your fault? Like for show, for show, your fault. There's no way around it. There's no way you can, you know, clean it up or, or point it at somebody else. Last time you messed up on a job. Last time I messed up on a job, probably at iHeart. Really? Yeah, remember? Remember when we was doing uh, Big Boy's bankroll? What you do? I, I accidentally posted the thing ahead of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yo, I forgot about that. Yo, I forgot about that. Boy. And, and they told me. When I tell you. <laughs> they told me not to come to work. <laughs> I don't know why that shit was. I'm going to tell you why it was so funny. Because I think you were sick that day. It no, was something going. No, what happened was what happened was I. Uh, so I w I didn't feel good. I posted the flyer because we're supposed to be promoting Big Boy's bankroll. Listen, just to give context, we get an email before <clears throat> with the flyer on this, and hey, this is a big contest. It's a big promotion. Post at seven a.m. and not a moment before, and we get it the night before. It, you posted like right when the email came I out. I posted like 10 o'clock. <laughs> then put my phone on Do Not Serve with the system. Exactly. Took my medicine, went to bed. And went to bed. Bro. I had like 30 missed calls, 100 text <laughs> yeah, messages. It was bad. Because I because basically we was announcing that we were going to one up the competition's payout. Oh. And Big Boy was giving away $2,000 every hour instead of $1,000. And I basically posted it the night before, when, before the announcement. So yeah, they was, yeah, I thought it was over. I called. I called Salas, <laughs> told him, like, we got to figure something else out. And then I it. called Charlemagne and was like, yo, so just so you know, I, f I messed up and uh, it might be over. Fucking up on the job. So, yeah. Hey, man, I, so, I, you know, I used to work for the city of Carson for some time, right? Worked mm -hmm. in the community center. 
And this is what my this is like early, early on, like I'm doing kind of summer youth at this time, super early on. And they wanted me to open one of the 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 room walls because there's, there's a there's a banquet hall, right? And there's three different rooms, but they're sectioned off, right? So if you open up the walls, it becomes one big room. The the room that I had my wedding in, mm-hmm. right? You know, the big room or whatever, there's two different walls that are sectioned off. And <clears throat> they told me to go open up one of them walls. And one of <laughs> shout out to the homie Manny. I'm gonna put him on blast right now. The homie Manny, man, well, he was he told me, he was like, look, uh, go ahead and open up the wall, you good, cool. Gives me the keys. He's the he's the lead guy that day. So technically it was supposed to be him to do it, but he's like, yo, go open it up. You need to learn kind of the ropes. I go open up the wall. And the way they have the wall, that the partition for the wall or whatever, well, the actual wall, there was a stage kind of like against the wall. So as I'm opening it, the stage gets caught on this huge wall, and all you hear is ying, 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 crack. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. The dude comes in, he said, You broke it. Looked at me and like, and it's like, because I had the keys and all that. Bro, when I tell you it was a, the, one of the hugest things for the city, because this wall, it's lit like they have, they have had a big event going on that day, so the the wall couldn't open up all the way. It imagine somebody's wedding like that has a wedding reception. It was a huge event, like five hundred people. The wall wouldn't open up all the way because I cracked it. Oh, when I tell you they was pissed at me, they were the the only thing that saved me was the fact that I was summer youth, and I wasn't supposed to be holding the keys. The guy that gave me the key, he's the one that got in trouble, but. I got suspended for like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, it was hot. They was yeah. hot. They was hot. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, man. But that was one of the times I knew I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this, this might be it. Like my first little job at the time, I'm like, oh man. But that I, I bring all that up to say, like, when you know you fuck up on a job, it's like no feeling. Like it's like, oh, like you said, the same thing. It's like, well, <clears throat> what am I gonna do? This is it. It's time to go. It's time to go. That application. In. Figure something else out. Heck, what was gonna say? I don't know. Oh, my bad. Um, next up. Next up, say? let's do. Uh, oh, last thing. Um, the song, the what is it? The AI song. Oh, the Drake and uh, the Weekend. The Drake and the Weekend. I knew it was gonna come back to haunt us. My, I'm, I'm anxious to talk to artists about how they feel about this because this is literally why. Well, not why, but this is part of the reason why the actor strike is going on. People think it's about pay and stuff like that. It is, but it's also the studios wanted to use the actor's likeness. Oh, and they didn't want to re-up on the negotiations and the contracts, right? No, the studios are wanting to use the, like, for instance, let's say um, I want to do an Iron Man movie. Mm-hmm. I have enough footage now where I can create an AI, Robert uh, Downey Jr. So they don't need them. So now the actors are like, that's not a part of that's not that's not something that's you can't do that well are they getting chipped off for that i mean hypothetically let's say they do but it's a fraction of let's say robert downs oh, yeah, you're not 100 million dollars yeah you're not gonna get that same you can get a million dollars or 10 million a licensing fee for your likeness not necessarily for you to do the thing it's kind of like when people hire djs mm-hmm. instead of hiring a dj and paying the dj a thousand dollars to come do your party mm-hmm. you want him to make you a spotify playlist Okay, so let's let's play that out. If they hire you, let's just say they they want you to make a Spotify playlist. You're not mixing; it's the playlist. Yeah, but you're it's using, not as much work. No, it's not as much work, but you're still using my my IP, my intellectual property. It's my idea to have this song. <clears throat> it's DJ Head on a flyer to sell tickets, and you're still using my likeness. So that's part of the reason why the strike is going on. So what's interesting about what's going on in music mm-hmm. is. It's not the same attention to detail because the Grammy, apparently the Grammy are, I mean, I'm, a, I'm on the Grammy board so I can find out, but apparently they're allowing it to be nominated, which is crazy. So you were part of the Grammy board or let's just say there's four of the songs and that one's actually the best one. Do you vote for it? I'm not a voter for that. I, I'll just, let's, no, let's just say, no, no, I, I know what you're trying to do. Let's just say you are a voter. You're a voter. This song is now, uh, you know, Drake featuring. Well, no, it's not even Drake in, in the weekend, but it's an AI version, right? This song is now nominated against four other songs, and the other four songs are trash. I'm not gonna say trash, but 
not they're clearly good. not as good. But this one is getting the most attention. You, we've seen it in clubs already. We've seen it being played on the radio in certain instances. It's getting traction. It's it's gotten a lot of attention. It's gone viral. So a lot more people know about this song, right? And it's a good song, right? Uh, would you agree or no? I haven't heard it. You haven't heard it? I'll play it for you. Um, would you vote for that song? No. You would just say so you just cast for the next best? Yeah. I just gave you an easy out. Because I don't think it's a real song. It's a real song. There's a real writer. And, and that was the, one of the reasons why it's actually nominated. Because it's not an AI. It's Somebody wrote the song. So, so the person that wrote it is going to get, I think it's like, I just know his, his um, well, if you wrote name the is song. Ghost Rider. Somebody, when it comes to the AI shit, from, from, my, from my understanding, That's right? That's tricky. You write it. You're just putting the Drake's, the, Drake, the Weekend and I'm Drake's to, version. I'm uh, trying to wrap my man. mind around... Because there's no real difference in having in creating your own like AI voice to sing your song. Say it again. There's no like if I if we were if me and you were to create an AI right now mm -hmm. and tell it like you're right now you could tell Siri to say this. Yeah. If we were to create our own AI voice, which there's sites you can do that. Right. There's even in the iPhone now in the new update mm -hmm. you can have your voice as 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 a thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think, is there even a difference in doing that and just having the Drake's voice do it or the Weeknd's voice do it? In terms of like I just think Okay, here's the thing. It would be a different category. It would be for the writing and not the actual performance. Mm. That's how I would look at it. Because you're not getting credit for the vocal performance. You're not, you're not vocally performing. But you're using somebody else's likeness. Yeah, that's where it gets tricky. So you're voting. I'm sorry. Let's get back to it. You're gonna you're gonna vote another song. You're not gonna vote this song. No, I wouldn't vote for it because that's not you performing. But what if it's what if if it's in a writing category? Maybe. Did hold on. We gotta figure. Did <clears throat> is it being nominated or is it up for consideration? Let, that, no, they said it's eligible. It's eligible. Got it. So let's just say which I don't know which category. It's across the board. Then I wouldn't put it in performance because that's not you performing. I will give you credit for the writing. I will put you in the writing. So say I think his name is Ghostwriter. I think that's uh, writing or producer, yes. Got it. But it wouldn't be for performance. Correct. So it But makes then also that's all that's also up to Drake and the weekends people to sue your ass for using their likeness or their names. Cause you can't just use my voice. We just we're on Friday's album. Right. They had to clear it. They had to hit our management. And tell yeah, him right. this is what we're using from the interview on yeah. Friday's album, mm -hmm. and we had and you sign a paper clearing them to use it. You mm -hmm. still have to clear somebody's voice, so that would be on Drake and the Weekend people to sue the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially because Drake don't want didn't they, Drake and the Weekend beefing with the Grammys. So can you imagine? They like oh we gonna we gonna get <laughs> we gonna get one either way. Hey man, it's a scary time. <sighs> It's going to be interesting. I think what's going to happen with the actors is going to set the precedent for what's going to happen in future. Mm. Well, um, shout out yeah, to... Yeah, uh, man. I just... Yeah, I'm sorry. That's shout out to all the new music that came out. Yeah. Um, I saw Blast. I saw a lot of people on NBA 2K mm -hmm. playlist. Um, I think the homie C5 was on there, too. C5 shout is out on to there. C5, man. Uh -huh. um, yeah, Desi G just dropped a new project, Destiny's... Uh, I think it's Destiny's Child. He, I, like the I like the way he flipped the name because it's like not Destiny, but Destiny. But, I mean, we, it, all, it... that To me, that's always interesting because it's like, how do you... Do you... Do you clear? How, no. how does that work? You kind of know a little more no. on the production side. If it's, the, if it's not spelled like that and it's not... No, I'm talking about... Because he's flipping... Beyonce records. I mean, he got to take that up between him and publishing companies and the, and the writers and stuff like that. A lot of the artists don't clear their music. So what goes behind that? Is you it, oh man, it's kind of like uh, they not going to really know? Yeah. Or is it? You can fly under the radar because they look at it like, this is, I'm not, now if the record take off, you got a problem. Oof. Record take off? Yeah. You got a problem. You got a real problem on your hands. Because now I can, say for instance, me and you, we're on the Friday album. Mm -hmm. Let's say the album goes Triple platinum mm -hmm. is 10 Grammys. Yep, which we talked about. Okay. They don't give us nothing, no heads up, nothing. We just own the album. Mm -hmm. We didn't sign a release form or nothing. 
we can technically go back behind. That's why they were so adamant about us signing that document. Right, right, right. We can be like, well, we want we want one hundred percent royalties on everything uh, because you didn't tell us because you didn't no sign because we, it wasn't negotiated. So now, or we can cease and decision. You got to pull everything down. Mm -hmm. Damn. Because even when I did YG's album, when I'm I'm talking on YG's album, I have to I have to sign paper. Like you have to clear it. A lot of artists don't clear their stuff because it's like they're independent artists, and it's like, well, if I get sued by Beyonce, that's good press, and I'll just take it down. Mm. That's the mentality a lot of okay. times. Or a lot of times, people don't know that they got to clear stuff. Damn. Wow. Um, shout out to Desi G, though. I don't know if you he just blew his whole spot. I mean, no, I, I'm giving giving props to the project, but it's like I, I, I always wondered about that, not even just with that particular project, but just in general. like when You when can't artists, just use somebody's stuff. When people just sample shit. You can't just sample whatever. Even this is what I recently found out about Splice, because a lot of producers use Splice and Loops and stuff like that. Mm. You can't. You have to clear that. Even though it's royalty free, you don't owe any money on it. You still have to clear it. You still have to get a, a get uh, it signed off on. Okay. <laughs> so it is what it is. Does that get in the way of creativity? No. Create it and then get it cleared. Figure it out. <clears throat> it's another project out. It's another one outside right now. I seen Kalen working with Puff. And I'm excited to see what's on this love album, even though I'm not an R&B fan. Yeah, shout out to Puff, man. Um, I think a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff, man. I want to uh, give a shout out to to Chrissy B and um, Python P. We got a new series called Check the Record, where we kind of go over new music, um, new new projects that just dropped and stuff like that. So you know, check the record at gmail.com if you want to submit your music over there. And we shall, you know, proceed to give you what oh, you need. I also want to point out that there is, and this is for everybody that's listening to the podcast, um, there is, and I'll put this, I'm going to put this on the, uh, on the, we'll put this in the, in the, on the screen so everybody can see. But if anybody is interested in getting their music heard and want to be, now, Chuck, don't ask me no questions. I'm about to ask you a gag of questions. Okay, I'm going to read this flyer. Are you a rising hip-hop artist? Uh-oh. I know what this is. Are the, you a rising hip-hop? The hip -hop? question a lot of people been asking, DJ Head. I don't, I don't know nothing about this. this you sure? Here. Listen, are you a rising hip-hop artist who has what it takes to captivate audiences on a global scale? Do you have star quality? Do you have flow? Do you have lyrics? Apply now. All rap styles are welcome. Apply now. I'm gonna read the website. Tiny, dope. T i n y dot o n e, tiny dot one slash rap show casting. That's tiny dot one slash rap show casting. Hip hop artists, lyrics, flow, star quality. A hip hop competition series for a major streaming service is seeking performers. There's your chance. That's it. Sign off now. Can I just salute Airplane James real quick too? Go ahead. He just dropped the project. Uh, apology accepted. And then we'll we'll end on that note. Can you just ask answer me one question? What? I don't know. I just I'm just I'm, I'm gonna ask and you just look at the camera. Just, I'm not gonna hey, look at look, look at the camera. Know. Just look at the camera and leave, do what you because, gotta say. No, because I can't dare. I don't know nothing. Is this part two? I don't know nothing about nothing. This part two. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just simply putting the information out there that I would what's, share. What's was it again? What is Tiny, what? What's the, the website? Or what's the, the email? Tiny dot one slash forward slash rap show casting. Hmm. Is there a rhythm and a flow to this? I don't know. I'm just I have no idea what you're talking about. That's crazy. That you would you announced this. Let's get off the internet. All right. I'm just saying. All right, well, song's on radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. We'll catch you next time.